Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here we share good food from a Geordie kitchen. Got a lovely recipe for you today, this is no bake lemon icebox pie. Really a lovely recipe, it's made with fresh lemons and it's very much like a cheesecake. It gets its name because um, in the 1930s and the 1920s when it was made originally it would be stored in boxes filled with ice because there was no refrigeration facilities. It's an American recipe. My husband responsible for bringing this one back over to me and I'm glad he did. It's very, very delicious. If you want to learn how to make this beautiful pie, keep watching. crush your biscuits whichever way you would prefer I do mine in a food processor but you can put them in a bag and bash them with a rolling pin <laughs> get all your stress out and then you want to melt your butter in a saucepan or in the microwave and then when it's melted you just tip your, your crumbs in now I like a looser I don't know how to describe it, but I don't like a very firm, crunchy base on my cheesecakes. So I found that this this amount, this ratio, makes a nice lighter crumb and you're not like trying to hack through it when it comes out of the fridge, which is awful trying to hack through it. I think you ruin your, your pie or your cheesecake when you're trying to do that. So this makes it really, really easy to cut through. So stir it all through. And then you want to take it, this is an eight, 8 inch cake tin, it's a loose bottom tin and I've just given it a little wipe out with some oil and you just want to put your crumb in and you want to go up the sides as well. So just bring it to the sides and push it up the sides, go all the way at the top if you want. As you see how I'm pressing it in, I'm not really pressing it hard because we want that lovely soft texture when it's set. And this gives you a nice thin base as well and thin sides. And then this is going to go in the fridge for a couple of hours while you get on with the filling. Now I've just taken the two cans of condensed milk and the cream cheese and I'm going to whip them together. And you will get quite a loose, a loose consistency here and you'll think oh no this is never going to set but it does, I promise. <laughs> Soon as that lemon juice goes in, something happens between the lemons and the cream cheese and it's just, it's magic. And then your, your zest goes in. And your lemon juice. And this is the point where you'll, you'll panic, because I did the first time I made this. But as you can see, it's some something magical happens and it just starts to thicken up beautifully. You just give that a whisk for a couple of minutes. And 
and also the smell when you're making this is just heaven it's beautiful and then it goes into your tin you don't use any sugar you, all your sweetness comes from that condensed milk and I don't think you need any extra sugar because it's beautiful it's zingy and sweet and fresh it's beautiful dessert really nice when you've had a heavy meal and you just want something light so smooth the top and put it in the fridge at least a couple of hours but it's best overnight mine went in overnight and then the next morning it's very very easy to get out if you've got a loose bottom tin you just loosen it and push it up and it's out and this is the cream I've just whipped the double cream and I put it in a piping bag with a big star nozzle on it and you just want to pipe little cream mounds Whichever way you fancy. And one in the middle for luck. <laughs> okay. And this is just some extra lemon zest. I just sprinkled some over the top lemon slices these are the ones that come in a jar I think they're made by a company called Opie's and I just this is two slices two or three slices which I just chopped up you can use fresh lemon slices of course if you have them but I didn't have any more lemons I ran out you just want to decorate it whichever way you fancy I mean you don't have to do the cream and the lemon at the end it's delicious as it is but this was for a celebration so I made it all pretty <laughs> so that's basically it it's really really delicious and it'll store in your fridge for three to four days after you've made it if it lasts that long ours never does <laughs> so once again thank you for joining me as for recipe of the week I hope you've enjoyed it Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. I went to Blade and Razors. It was on the 9th of June. 1862 in a summer's afternoon. We took the bus for Bamberger's and she was heavy laden. And away we went to like Collingwood Street that's on the boat of Blade and, and all that. You should have seen us cannon. Passing the books upon the boat.